One of the officers acquitted during the two Rodney King beating trials is fighting for his old job tonight. Theodore Brasinho has been acquitted twice. Now he wants his old job back. Brasinho created a firestorm in the Simi Valley trial when he turned against his fellow officers and testified that he tried to stop the beating. The LAPD is now examining whether Brasinho told the truth and also whether he did, in fact, use excessive force. Our Jim Giggins in the newsroom right now with more on this story. Jim? Colleen, some see Ted Brasinho as a hero who tried to stop the beating of Rodney King. But to a lot of LAPD officers, he's despised, seen as duplicitous and having sold out his fellow officers to save himself. In short, they see him as having broken the, quote, code of silence, end quote. While on duty, I necessarily kicked R. King. How do you plead? Not guilty. Since two juries have cleared him, Ted Brasino now wants his job back at LAPD. That's why he has to go through this Board of Rights hearing. But LAPD internal affairs advocates are determined to keep him off the force. The fact that a jury has acquitted Officer Brasino of a criminal charge does not prevent the board from finding such misconduct on his part as disqualifying him from his employment as a police officer. This case is simply the use of force by foot, whether or not it was unnecessary. <laughs> Though Brasino's attorney kept saying that, it's not true as far as LAPD is concerned. The department will show through documented evidence that Officer Ted Brasino gave less than truthful testimony concerning his involvement in the incident while testifying in the state trial in Simi Valley. Officer Brasino's credibility will be a significant issue, and the department intends to show the board that this was not the first time he was less than truthful when confronted with allegations of misconduct. That last statement was in reference to Brasino once being suspended for 66 days for using excessive force. Fundamental fairness says you don't get to come in and tar and feather somebody on another issue that you want to prove to prove something else. Either Mr. Brasino used relevant force, or excuse me, legal force at the scene, or he didn't. What Mr. Peterson appealed, appeared to forget frequently was that he was not in the courtroom. A Board of Rights hearing is rather like a military court-martial with its own special rules of evidence. The hearing is, lasted to, is expected to last six days. Back to you, Colleen and Paul. Jim, on the face of it, one might wonder, the man's been acquitted, so therefore, why didn't he get his job back? It isn't quite that simple with the Board of Rights and the Internal Affairs. They say that he committed an infraction. More than that, that he used excessive force, and he's been tried again, if you will, by them on that.